वेलकम टू माई चैनल वन सेकेंड दिस इज योर बाई सिक्स पैक पॉन्ग येस सो आज के चले नतून भिडियो ने सानडे सानडे मैंने नतून भिडियो नतून भिडियो मैंने नय फूड ना फिटनेस सो आगे गो फूडे छो अबियलि आज के फिटनेस तो आज के देखा चले आज के देखा चले हे सेशन थार्टी मिनट्स एक सेशन सेवेंटीन अफ एप्रिल लास्ट इयर मैं टोटी टोटी ते जो एकदम लकडाउन स्टार्ट हो जो वारल्डे सब कान्ट्री बोलो सब जैग बोलो सबाई लिटरलि स्कियार्ड बाड़ी बेनर जो वही टाइम कोलोरेशन करी सो ये को जगह फ्लैट अटाच कर देव देखते पा तुम्हारा से सो कोलोरेशन जैसे है हर नेम इज वासिलिसा सो पुरो लाइव भिडियोते तुम्हारा डिटेल्स और बेपारे जानते पे जा तीन बेकार एखे और बोलना ना भिडियोते ही जानते पे जा और सेकेंड अफ अल भिडियो जो लैंगुएजे हो इंगलिशे आई नो हमार मोस्ट अफ दत जा भिडियो आज सब बेंगली बेंगली ही हमारे कन्टेंट हमें एर पर पोस्ट करब कंतु बिकज इट डजेंट अंडारस्टैंड बेंगली ना दैर आई कैन स्पीक रशियान सो दैट द मेन थिंग सो पुरो भिडियोटार मेन लैंगुएजा इंग्लिस तो कारो जदि कोकम भाव बुझते को प्रब्लेम है फिल फी टू लाइक डीएम मी इन इन्स्टाग्राम फेसबुक जेखने इच्छा बाूबे तुम्हारा कमेंट करते पर सो हमें तुम्हारे देव जो कारो बुझते को प्रब्लेम है सो ये कि मेनलि भिडियोते जो देखो से तो हे छा एक्सारसाइज जेटा बाड़ी बस तुम्हारा करते जे क्यों सेटार जो कोसट्रा इक्यूपमेंट्स लागे ना तुम्हारे जिमे जो है ना तो मन है ये सबाई के फलो करा उचित नट ऑनलि जरा जिम फ्रिक फिट थका सवार उचित सो ये भिडियो मेनलिम कर मैं कोलाबरेशन जो बाड़ीत तुम्हारा फिट थकते पर सो और बस कथा बोलो ना कारण अलरेडी भिडियो अनेक लम्बा होते चले सो देखते देखो भिडियो चलो Привет. У нас небольшие технические затруднения были с эфиром, поэтому мы решили попробовать с моей страницы. Yes, hi, you can send me the request now. Yes, I got it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. It worked. <laughs> All right. Maybe because of uh, some technical issue, it was not happening. Yeah, we uh, we had that problem already with another uh, blogger, and I don't know if it's because you have more followers for some reason. I have very few, so <laughs> it works maybe easier that way. Uh, that's not a problem. The thing is, uh, uh, if if we can inspire few people, that's also fine. Uh, sorry, I didn't get that. Like I'm saying, if we can inspire one people, that's uh, that's also good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah. So, do you want to start from introduction? Yeah, just, uh, introduction. Let, let let few people coming in. Uh, till then, you tell me your, about yourself so that my followers get to know about you a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh hello everyone. I'm really happy for this collaboration and I hope we both get uh, some mutual uh mutual benefit and good time from this. So my name is Vasilisa, but for sure it is Vasi easier. Uh I'm coming from Russia from Siberia, but I live in Finland for 8 years already. Uh I came to study business uh first, but then Uh, I was uh, also studying to become a group exercise instructor because I used to dance since the age of five, and uh, to become an instructor, I had to study uh, the international group exercise, uh, and then I continued to study international personal training. So now I'm doing both the group exercise and personal training. Ah, your video is loading. Yeah. Did you hear anything? <laughs> yeah, same, same thing happened to you. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can hear you. You tell me, tell me. It's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know when did you stop hearing or did you hear everything? 
No, no. We had everything, but the video uh, was stopped. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. All right. Well, so, that's a little uh, bit about. Me. So, so first of all, uh, this is Tamarjit, and uh, this is to your followers. Like uh, I'm from India, so uh, namaste to you all. Uh, this is a first international collaboration. So. And uh, as you already spoken a uh, little bit more, so can we share the chart or do we uh, go through the process one by one? Yeah, sure. So our first exercise will be the jumping jack. So I am live from my terrace, and you are live from your home, I guess. So yes, I am. Let's start. Home, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, do you want to do it again? Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Let's move this. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. So, this is our first exercise: jumping jack. So, basically, this is a warm-up set. You can do it a uh, intermediate course also. So yeah. Uh, basically, I'm telling the followers what is the benefit of the exercises. So I wrote it down already because uh, if I start any program, I write it down so that I can I can't miss any kind of exercises. So uh, I already uh, write it down so that uh, after the video, I show them to uh, that uh, page and they can take a screenshot and. Uh, they can is in their home also. Uh, that's the thing. So let's do it again. Uh, you uh, start to explain uh, so that they can get to see more. Yeah, I, I also want to say that if uh, for some reason you cannot jump or some people who have some knee injuries or they are doing the weight loss program, for example, and they are afraid to hurt their knee if they are a little bit overweight, then they can uh, substitute the jump with just walking in and out. So it's not necessarily the jump. If you want it to be less cardio and less uh, knee impact, then you can also just like do this one. This is like an easier uh, alternative. Yeah. yeah the jumping jack they can do this as Vasily so that to us yeah so I was just saying how many... easier easier alternative yeah exactly so how many uh, reps and how many times you uh, want to tell your followers to do this exercise uh, well it depends on the purpose like if I usually use this movement uh, for warm-up so I don't do it as a like a workout movement, but it's more like to get your heart rate up. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. This is a warm up set uh, because we are going to other exercises. Also, we are going to do other exercises. Also, this is a warm up set, and yeah. uh, these are very effective for the whole body uh, purpose. Also. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So depending on what other movements you do in the warm up, because usually I keep my warm up from five to ten minutes, and because I start also like slow movement from the neck and stretches and everything. So when I do these jumps, they are like they can be like thirty seconds, forty five seconds, but then I change another movement also. Yeah. Exactly. So let uh, uh, show it again to uh, people you know, so that they can uh, see and they can. Uh, learn more from the video okay yeah okay so you want to do it for like about 30 seconds yeah sure let's yeah. start yes <laughs> Yeah. Done. Nice. Done. 
<laughs> so already we are uh, sweating a lot. Uh, <laughs> if we continue from ten minutes, you all can guess how uh, how much uh, sweat sweating you are going to have. So you can understand. Most of the people ignore this exercise because they think uh, this is an easy going exercise. Uh, we don't need to do this kind of exercise. We'll just put a dumbbell and do few stuff. Uh, many people do the mistake. <laughs> they ignore the basic one, and uh, that's the wrong perception people have. Like people only want to do bodybuilding exercise. They forgot to uh, do the basic uh, stuff when this is the most important for the bodybuilding purpose also. Yeah. And it's actually much more efficient if you do uh, workout at home or in the gym. Doesn't matter if you do intervals. Like you can do some muscle training and then cardio, and then muscle training and then cardio. It's like on and off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we are going to the next uh, exercise, I guess. Yes. Sure. Let's let's go. Uh, what what was our uh, second exercise? Yeah, just the second. I have it here. Yeah. Uh, we have... I wrote it down also. I wrote it down also. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have squat and side kick. Squat. Yeah. yeah, squat with side kick. So basically, everyone knows about the squat. So I tried to modify uh, this exercise a little bit. Few people know and few people don't know about the squat side kick. So. First, we we are going to show the normal squat so that people get to understand the normal squat. Then we'll go through the poses. Okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. You can uh, start and because we will have yeah, the yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So you're doing the wide one. Okay. This one. Yeah. This one. So we did the normal squat, and you want to explain others what is the benefit of squat first? Uh, well, there's many benefits. It's uh, basically <laughs> basically almost full body uh, movement. Uh, yeah, uh, it's like the base of of the base. <laughs> And of course, um, you need to do it right in, if you want to uh, use certain muscles because the main mistake, what I noticed, is that uh, especially women, they think that it's a booty exercise. But <laughs> exactly. But it's a very doing, misconception people uh, have. Yeah, exactly. But instead of actually using their booty, they put all the way to the front, uh, to the knees, which is also damaging the knees it's not integrating your butt at all so what you actually need to focus is putting your weight a little bit back on the heels also on the hips so it's like imagine that you want to sit on the chair you start first by moving your hips like if you take a chair and then yeah. you see you, like, also, okay. you, you show them the sideways so that they can see the sideways posture yeah, because like it's the best way to actually um, to think about the movement and to practice. Because when you sit on the chair, you don't sit like this. You actually start by going with your butt and then up. So basically, you can use the chair to analyze the movement. So you start from the hips, you push the hips out, you keep the knees straight, same line with the toes. And then you sit on the chair, and when you lift yourself, you squeeze hips a little bit in. And then again, down, and then in. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, we are, uh, can we do from the sideways the normal squat so that they can see the... Sure. Yeah, yeah. I also want to say that... Um, you might notice that some people uh, have the back 
falling a little bit in front, uh, that's okay because everybody has different uh, hip mobility and also ankle mobility. So some people don't naturally hold their back so much in front. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's this way. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I was just explaining that uh, depending on your hip mobility and your ankle mobility the back can also deviate like it might go a little bit more in front or a little bit more straight it depends on people yes so can we uh, move forward to the squad by uh, squad with a side kick yeah let's do it so basically let's... everyone knows what is side kick that is a side kick. Everyone knows about it. So, yes. squat with side kick is a modified version. The, uh, this is an important exercise for the obliques also. So, let's start. This is a very uh, effective exercise for the obliques, hamstring, and the hip hip, flex, uh, hip flexure actually. Yes. So, uh, <coughs> you want to tell something more about this? Uh, no, maybe I can just give alternative. Uh, this one is really good for the heart boost, like for the heart rate up, because you actually have to kick and as you said it integrates the core muscles as well it's not just the lower body exercise it's actually full body exercise but if you want to a little bit easier alternative then instead of like uh, kicking all the way this way you can just do straight leg exactly exactly these are people who are not able to do properly they can start with this form and they can increase uh, to the next level yeah <clears throat> so our next exercise was high knee taps this is a very uh, effective exercise for the cardiovascular system as i uh, i was telling so let's start with you start the showing the exercise the high knee taps yeah i hope we mean the same thing because uh, <laughs> i do this one like, for example, in my classes, I do this. Okay. And then you can also do twist. Exactly. Yeah. But we can also do this also, like I'm showing uh, you. Mm. Uh, this one. Yeah. yeah, this one. So each and every uh, moment, we are tapping our knee with our hand. So, we are staying in a one point and we are tapping each and every second. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Or, the alternative again, if you don't feel so confident in jumping yet, you can just do the tap here. Exactly, exactly. Our next exercise is very special. As the exercise <laughs> named from uh, you or people, Russian people. So everyone must know the Russian twist. But I want my followers to know 
why Russian twist name came? Ah, I don't know actually. <laughs> because the name oh. is that. <laughs> that is a very negative impact you are showing to your audience. <laughs> I must say. Because yeah. even I don't, I wasn't aware of the fact. So because of the collaboration, I was reading and I was gathering lot of information. Yeah. So I get to know <laughs> during the World War II, one of the army people, uh, yeah. they uh, one of the army people from Russia, they invented this exercise. So that's why the name. Why oh, it's changed. called Russian twist? Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, because it's actually not just the core exercise, it's basically full body exercise and also balance exercise that you don't just do the abs, you actually uh, work out the the balance as well and the whole body. And the main idea there... Five is also engaging. Yeah, I will just take some, uh, some kind of... Uh, Equipment Pilot. and sit. Yeah, yeah, like we are at home, so we don't have equipment. You can just exactly. use pillow. Exactly. Uh, and then basically, the main idea is twist because many people do it just with their hands. You know, like uh, please don't just use your hands. You actually have to twist your whole upper body. So when you twist. Uh, you actually keep your chest straight, push the shoulders back, chest out, the legs are a little bit up, and then you twist your whole upper body. So you're not only moving the hands, you're actually moving the whole upper body. Yes. And then uh, you can... I about 35 seconds and then 30 seconds rest yeah that's the best protocol yeah so, so uh, uh, can you tell uh, people that they, what kind of mistake they made during the russian twist yeah the main mistake is to just use your hands because people usually do this and it's not a hand exercise or it's not yeah i think there's some delay in the sound <laughs> no, then they can do that's not important we have to put your leg up and we have to do the exercise if you're not able to do that, you keep your foot down and yeah. do the exercise. Yeah, yeah, that's yes, exactly. Exactly. So our <coughs> next exercise is uh, very commonly known, that is push-up. So there are multiple varieties in push-up. We all know that. So we are showing the normal push-up that everyone does. And you want to explain the benefits and the core part we are engaging in the tricep exercise? Uh, uh, exercise. Well, basically, push up is a very mm, uh, multitasking exercise. Like, depending on which muscles you want to use, you can decide if you do like narrow grip, triangle grip, wide grip. And these are not wrong. They are just all different muscles. Like if you want to a little bit more uh, work on your trapezius and like upper back, then you do a little bit more narrow. Then if you widen the push up, then you use more chest and tricep. So basically it's like really great upper body exercise, which you can do with no equipment. You are engaging tricep, petrochor muscle, and also shoulder also in this exercise. Yeah, yes. So, uh, there is a different uh, benefit of the different uh, push-up style. The triangle, which commonly known as diamond push-up, people do the exercise. That uh, push-up is uh, engaging the tricep, mostly tricep, and few uh, few more part in chest. Uh, so let's start the normal push-up. 
Yeah, I will show the uh, kneeling push up so then ladies can see the alternative as well. And you can do the normal exactly. one. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's start. Let's start. Yeah. So these these for those people who are not able to do, do the push up correctly they can start with this you can uh, put your knees on the ground and they, uh, you can start gradually you will increase yeah and then when you want to increase you just yeah 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 but keep your hips inside so it's not here it's here Yeah. So let me show them all once again. Yeah. As everyone can see, there is a straight line. I am not doing like this. Neither I am doing like this. There is a straight line, and we are maintaining this line properly. So we are moving forward to the final exercise of our plan as we yeah. discussed. Uh, that is plank. Uh, many people also ignore this kind of exercise also. As I told you, the jumping jack is the most commonly ignored exercise. I, I don't know in, about other country. Like what is the thought about uh, your country people? Like they have this kind of mindset or not? No, actually, it's the other way around. They do only plank. <laughs> they don't do but anything. The thing else. Is... Yeah, they think that plank is the best, and you don't need to do anything. You just stay in plank for one minute, and you're done. <laughs> so basically, they were trying to find the shortest and the easiest way to yeah. do the exercise. Yeah. But here, you know. Uh, Many people ignore this kind of exercise. Uh, people have a misconception of uh, weight uh, weightlifting exercise. Like they always want to do bodybuilding type of exercise. They ignored all this kind of stuff like jumping jack. This is the most uh, ignored exercise. Whenever I uh, used to uh, put this name up, people are saying, let's uh, skip to the next exercise. I, I know this exercise. So they are already uh, have the mindset like we are not uh, getting any kind of benefit from the exercise so people don't explain them that much that that is a benefit which part you are engaging like yeah. people want their uh, stomach to be flat but they only want their stomach to be flat they don't want they don't know actually you can't reduce a spot uh, spot wise you will decrease the weight gradually like you can't uh, say like you will uh, reduce the uh, amount of uh, fat in your this body part or that body part you will lose gradually o whole body will be uh, involved in the fat loss process yeah we have a question it's actually a really good question uh, someone is asking what exercise we can suggest during the pregnancy and uh, it, uh, of course, it's very individual. It depends on what month of pregnancy you are currently and what is your doctor saying and what is the situation with your pregnancy. But if you have done exercises before and if you are healthy and the pregnancy is going well and everything is fine, then basically you can do any movement, uh, but don't maybe load any weights. So just do the basic, that's exactly what we are now saying, that don't ignore the basic exercises, just do your body weight movements. Mm -hmm. If you just do simple squat, kneeling, push up, uh, basically kind of like a little bit stretches, even the jumping jacks, but maybe without the jumps or all the movements that we showed without the jumps, 
this is the perfect workout for you. Yeah, and and because of the situation, like uh, right now we are uh, we are in the home because of the situation, the coronavirus effect. We are in the home, and right now this is a perfect time to everyone. Like they can work out from their home. They have a lot of times. They don't need to go to the places. They have all the time in their hand, and they can uh, rather than utilizing watching movies. I I would really request to people. Like watch movies, that's not a problem. But give a time to your to yourself to fitness. Yeah, the because health is the wealth, and obviously if you are fit, the positivity you will get from yourself that no one can give you. Yeah. Also, when you do these basic movements, it's very easy to track your progress because maybe today you can do only two push-ups, but then tomorrow you will suddenly do four, and that's like a really good boost. You're like, wow, right. I'm actually right. growing. Yeah. Right. So let's start the plank. Let's do the plank. Okay. Do you want to do like a basic plank, or like let's go through maybe um, very pop the, the most popular alternatives? Because yeah, because usually people only do the plank, which is uh, which is only like using the 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 elbows. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a, it's still good one, but again, like focus on your hips. So don't push your hips out. They have to be flat. And also the back has to be flat. Um, yeah, this is like one alternative of the plank. You can, of course, do the basic plank, which is just on the arms. So the arms stay under the shoulders. This is also the plank. Yeah. Show them, show them from the front side. Show them from the front side, so they can see the other side also. The difference, yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's either like this. Yeah. And also yeah. one important thing, of course, like now I raise my neck because I want to see you. But when you do it, you need to keep it down because the neck should stay flat. So you don't get any protrusion with your neck. So this is one option or this is the other option. And of course, if you are super advanced or you want to really challenge yourself, you can go on and off. Yeah. But this is like... It's basically doing not just core training, it's also cardio training. Exactly, exactly. And you do, do you want to tell them the uh, duration during this exercise? Uh, well, it's like all the other uh, core and ab movements. You can do it either with a time, let's say 35 seconds of work, 30 seconds rest, 35 seconds work, 30 seconds rest. Or if you don't like tracking the time, then you can just count, let's say, 20, 25 times. And that's one uh, set. And then you can do like three or four rounds. Yeah. Many people can do it uh, more than a five minute also. Like continuously they can hold on a position and they can do. Like it comes uh, yeah, with a practice. You can increase. Like let, let's say you can start, if you're a beginner, you can start from like 10 seconds, 15 seconds and then grow, grow, grow. Yeah. Exactly. In each and every exercise, people will grow gradually and they, uh, the fitness is a never-ending process. You will learn each and every day. You will get to see more people from the other city, other countries. And each and every day, we will get to know uh, many more new things about fitness. So, in this quarantine, again, I'm repeating, don't just sit on your, uh, sit on your home. Do exercise each and every day and keep yourself engaged with the positive uh, stuff. Uh, like, don't waste your time. And let's, uh, it's time to end actually. You want to say something more? Uh, yeah, I actually have one suggestion. I think you, you will support me on that. Uh, we can uh, record a video of all the movements that we have instructed today. Uh, and yeah, then we yeah. can make a post 
post uh, like the same post together. You can post it on your page for your followers. I will exactly. post it on my page. So then we will cover exactly. The, exactly the same movements that we just mentioned today. So those who didn't have a chance to go on the live session, they can see recorded videos of the same movements. Yeah, exactly. And I am going to show the uh, exercise one by one so that they can take a screenshot of the yeah. picture. Uh, if anyone want to take a screenshot, they can. I wrote it down only for you people. So we today we did seven exercise so any if you have any more queries or question you can ask me or her she is all always available for you people so don't hesi hesitate you can go ask me or her anytime so yes. this is a very nice uh, collaboration i have with you and mm. i must say a big thank you to you and your audience uh, so i hope to see you uh, once again like yeah. let's Hush. see what we can do really thank you uh, yes. thank you so much likewise thank you so much for this collaboration thank you for sharing experience and exchanging ideas and thoughts and this is really nice that even on during these hard times that people have to stay home and maybe lost their jobs or feeling a little bit down we can support each other even at least from online and share the knowledge exactly. and share some positive energy. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Many people are saying, th many people are saying thank you to you. Thank you. So thank you so much. <laughs> that is a very positive response I'm getting. If you have thank any you questions, if, you, if your followers have any questions to me, they can always direct message me and there is no problem. I will respond. Exactly. Yeah. So thank you. Uh, yes. Bye. Bye-bye.